huzzahs. <laughs> All right, really, really good news uh, from Avid about iLock. So a couple days ago, Avid released some updates for these these plugins here that uh, Avid manages or Avid, Avid creates. And, you know, that's sort of a, a general update that happens every once in a while. But the really great news about this is now these plugins, which are from Avid, keep in mind, from Avid, now are no longer bound to being authorized directly on an iLock version 2 or version 1 for that matter. Now you can authorize these plugins directly to your computer, to your machine, using the machine authorization feature of your iLock license manager. Now you still do need the iLock license manager, but you can activate these specific plugins here to your actual machine and you don't have to activate them to an iLock. Now that is really great news for smaller systems like a Surface, like a laptop. I mean, for systems that have limited inputs, USB inputs, such as a Surface, you know, if you don't have it in the dock, then you really only have one USB port there and that will probably be uh, taken up by an audio interface. So where do you plug your iLock in? You can't. So a lot of times what I do, especially when I'm recording tutorials about Pro Tools or anything really, I'll be recording all the audio through my Surface and I'll be recording into Bitwig because Bitwig does not require uh, a dongle to authorize it to open it up. Hopefully we see Pro Tools unbound from being activated to an iLock. Now I personally like an iLock for my main system uh, anything that is not disposable, any system that is not disposable, like your main system, I prefer an iLock because if anything happens, uh, and you have to reinstall a bunch of stuff, it's so much easier to just plug your iLock in and have everything ready to go instead of having to dig through serial numbers and authorization codes and all that stuff. But for something like a surface, a laptop where you don't want dongles sticking out where people can run into them and whatnot, machine authorization is, you know, fantastic. It's absolutely great. So hopefully we'll see this continue on. And hopefully, you know, I have no idea, but hopefully we'll eventually get Pro Tools to be a, you know, machine authorization base, or at least, you know, have that option. You know, I would still use an iLock for my main system, but it would be nice to have an option to have it uh, authorized directly to a machine as well. Okay, and before we go here, just in case you're not aware, uh, like something like this is what your uh, plugins will look like if they can be authorized to the machine and your machine would be up here, your local machine. All right, and you can see the, the computer icon is uh, highlighted there as an option. All right, and sort of unrelated, you know, another uh, trend that I've seen over the years is more and more manufacturers offering multiple authorizations uh, per license, which is great. Uh, this used to be sort of be the case, and then really people started to scale back to one authorization, and now they're starting to scale back up to two authorizations, which is great. Uh, I think I did a video on auto theory and I think at the time, I believe they only gave you one authorization, but you know, I logged in a couple days ago and noticed, wow, I have two authorizations now or two activations uh, now, which is, which is great. And you can authorize auto theory to your iLock 2 or to your computer. So that means I could have one system. My main system is authorized to my iLock version two, and then I could have it on my surface authorized directly uh, to the computer. So that way I don't need to plug and I lock in there just to open my plug in there. I mean, same thing for a lot of these Sonovox uh, plugins. They're giving you two authorizations and you can authorize those, you know, to the computer and I like version two, I like version uh, one and whatnot. Okay. So that's sort of just a little side note. Hopefully, I mean, it would, it would be great to see Pro Tools give you two authorizations again. That would be so great to have one on an I lock and then one on a, uh, uh, one authorized directly to your system there. Now you will have the option to authorize those directly to your computer. Let's hope this trend at Avid keeps up.